don't know because, I mean, we had people, when I was in London, we had people sleeping on the streets. And when I went to New York, there was people sleeping on the streets, you know, Central Park. And they preferred, I asked them, I said, what? They said, no, we preferred to sleep here. We preferred to sleep out on the streets. Well, I don't know, but I mean, if, they didn't, if people didn't, where, where would they sleep? You know, depending how many people, it's Madrid, no? Depending how many Madrid. people sleep in Madrid. Because the oh. albergues in Madrid, they close. So suddenly these places are going to, I don't, I don't, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, it'd have to be a huge place, wouldn't it? I mean, how many people sleep rough on the streets of, it's going to have to be a huge, what? Like in America, like 50, <laughs> 50 stories. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, just let's let's see what happens with this with the lady in Madrid, and perhaps she was, perhaps she's like um, Samantha, you know, bewitch. She can twist her nose and <laughs> <laughs> and she can materialise, you know, places for, for the people to sleep, which I don't think is going to happen. But there you go. As Mother said, stranger things happen at sea, so let's see what happens. <laughs> exactly. Yeah.